Breaking sports news, we could soon have a winner in the bidding war for the Miami Marlins. As Fox Business first reported right here on the show, Derek Jeter, Jeb Bush, and the Romney family all showed interest, but we now know who the preferred bidder is for the team. This guy's been breaking it every single moment. Uh, we should point out that preferred bidders usually mean that the, the deal is not signed yet. And I can tell you my information is good as of yesterday, early today. I mean, who knows? Maybe the contract got signed. I don't think it, it has. But here's what we know. The preferred bidder for the Marlins, the only baseball team for sale, uh, is the team of Jeb Bush and Derek Jeter, the, the all-star Yankees shortstop and the, and the former Florida governor. You know, uh, skin of one of the uh, sky of one of the uh, you know great political families in the country. They team together. They have been told by Marlins management they're the preferred bidder. Now, why are we hedging this? Others, others, other networks are out there saying it's a, den, a done deal. And you know, it's it, it's like you know you're about to buy a house and you like the house, but you have to sign the papers and it hasn't been closed yet. And that's what, kind of where we are right now. One of the sticking points here is that Major League Baseball wants a cash bid. They put down they, their, their bid on, on this, the, the winning bid or the preferred winning bid, is something around $1.2 billion. That doesn't mean it's not going to go a little higher. Okay. Major League Baseball wants mostly cash on that. And that's the rub here. They are still going out talking to investors to try to get in cash, to try to get more cash for this deal. Now, here's another rub. In the interim, while this thing is not totally closed, we have other potential bidders still trying to break into the process. We understand that the Romney family, led by Tag Romney, Mitt Romney's son, who runs a private equity firm out of Boston, he's still interested and he's still been pushing. Uh, that doesn't mean he's going to get in, but still, there is a, there's some daylight here before this thing gets finalized, and that's where he, uh, and so he's trying to make his mark. But here's what we do know, that they, that Jeb and the Jeb Bush team with Derek Jeter, and if this thing gets finalized, it's going to be a pretty amazing story. They are the preferred bidders to buy the Marlins. Essentially, they will be competing against the Jeb, uh, uh, Jeb Bush will be the political muscle here, but, but uh, Derek Jeter will be competing against his old team, the Yankees, if, if he wins this, which is going to be a pretty amazing story in of itself. Uh, again, it's not a done deal till it's a done deal. We're going with, other people say they won. We're going with preferred. I can see the headline. Jeb and Jeter. Yeah, right? Uh, and by the way, it might not get announced for a couple of weeks. And the reason why is they have to line up the financing. And uh, listen, the, but we've asked the Marlins for a statement. They haven't put out a statement yet. They may come out with a statement that says, says it's, it's, you know, somewhat, uh, it's, it's, you know, they are the preferred bidders as they're, as they're looking at financing. I don't know. But from what I've been told, and I've been told pretty clearly, you know, I can't imagine that they're going to screw over the Bush family of Florida. Okay, Jeb Bush was the former governor. That is not smart. And they know from baseball, George W. Bush owned... Yeah, he owns stuff, um, but I, I, I would just say the Texas Rangers, Rangers. right? <laughs> See, uh, you know, you I'm, think that's I'm a hockey Dodgers, team, don't you? so I'm the Dodgers Texas, and Indians. Did you think that was a hockey team, the Texas Rangers? <laughs> no, the New York Rangers, okay, dumb okay. dumb. I was just throwing that at you. Just see, if I, <laughs> see if I can catch. Listen, you get me on grammar, I get you on sports. <sighs> Not very often, Charlie. <laughs> thank you. We